Everybody, we're gonna, need to, we're gonna play number tag for a little bit. And I need everybody grab a bean bag right now. And you're gonna stay in this blue square. This blue basketball court. Let's go, on the jaw, on the jaw. Okay, you're the camera lady. Okay, try to get his face and not his right, butt. Okay. Right. But it's okay to be away from him. It's okay. just if he stands over here, then you kind of hobble around over in the other room. Copy Trey. Can you see Trey's legs? Alright, everybody, let's line up. 
going to do right here. And look. So, ready? One, two, three, four.
in this class are so good. Mm -hmm. Yes, it'll keep you from falling asleep. <laughs> you know. Don't judge me. 
Jump with your knobs on the foot. Just juggling it out video. We're all good. I've never had anyone ever in the history of this class fail their juggling skills test. There you go. Ever. There you go. 
There you go, Lee. A little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more, Lee. It takes pretty much all semester if you're a true beginner. It takes us till we get to April before people start juggling right, balls. When y'all do it, they're going to do it while y'all spin it. They're going to spin it in a circle. Way to go, Hunter. Look at him go. He made a full circle. It's a little bit harder with the balls on beanbags. Don't want to do the scarf. I'm going to do the scarf. You have to go faster with the balls. Once Matt gets those balls down, we're going to make you juggle off the wall. You throw them up on the wall and make them come back to you. Or I'll give you the bowling, uh, the, the juggling pins. Those are really interesting. See, you see how rhythmic his throws are? And it, the balls don't go very high. He just, it's creating the same motion over and over and over again. Giselle's a pretty good juggler, too. All right, now you're going to try to throw them up as high as y'all can when y'all do it while spinning. Throw them high. And each one you're going to catch it when it gets close to the ground while you're going in a circle. So let it get low while you're spinning. What, Whenever you throw it up. Oh, Lewis is going there. He's going. You look like a little kid, too, you know? You look like. Catch one and get low. Keep going. Remember? Lewis, yeah, he looks like he's about 10. Juggling is a very important skill. It uses both sides of your brain. You want to get better at your right side, develop the left side. You can't go to sleep and juggle at the same time. You've got to actually be actively into it. Right, means you have, you're at that practice stage. Mentally, you've drawn the diagram, but you haven't automated it yet. But it takes 1,000 repetitions to automate that skill. So you've got to figure out, all, now you're back to showering. You're a natural shower, and that's actually a harder skill. But you need to be able to do, both, uh, to, um, do showering to demonstrate for little kids, because they have a hard time with showering. Oh, look! I like that! Yeah, throw it from under your legs. That's a good. Good, Peyton. Yeah, Big E's got it. You have to be a little flexible. Way to go, Bo. Laura, how many times can you throw it? Can you count to 15 and not messed up? Can you count to 15? That would be three, uh, yeah, that would be five complete rotations, wouldn't it? Does, does anyone have a different ch uh, juggling on their lesson plan, their next lesson plan? Anybody got showering? If you do, you need to get Logan to demonstrate. He's, you can do it naturally. Showering is when you throw with one hand, right hand, pass with your left, and it goes around the circle. See, he can keep it going, but can he do that with softballs or baseballs? Oh, maybe. Yes. Man, he's right side of dominant in a big way. Huh? Can you do it? Can you do it? No, he be, he's got you beat so far. Yeah, he's he had it, he had it. <laughs> yeah, right. What about column? Will you go through two and one? Throw up two and get in the through two outside, one in the middle, two outside, one in the middle. Do you still remember how to do that one? Two and one. Yeah. Two and then one. If you can, if you can remember it, then I'll get you to demonstrate it. You can. And then yes, it is. Trey's got it.
I went to a Layford workshop where they got us juggling like that and then made us dribble a soccer ball at the same time. That was interesting. I think our soccer players should be able to do that, huh? No. Uh, um, you're on camera. Yeah, move a little bit far away from the the vents. It, vents gonna blow them away. That's what I see. If you, if you, if you, because you only let one side do that. I was saying you can go a little longer here because this is not going to take so long. That's what you said. To short it all. That's why I was trying. No. That's I know. I, got I know. Really I confused, confused you. Because I think I was going to let it go longer over there. That's why. And then we learn in this class, but we whether yeah. we make it or not, don't we? We yeah. learn by our mistakes. We learn by things we do well. We learn by anything we do. Yeah. It's called experience. All right, everybody, y'all grab your scarves and bring it to the bag.